Hi kids, today's story is about this same mama elephant that I read when it said five minutes piece. Remember that one a couple days ago? Well, this one's called All in One Piece. All in One Piece. Mr. Large was getting ready for work. Don't forget the office dinner dance tonight, dear, he said. Of course I won't, said Mrs. Large. I've been thinking about it all year. Are children allowed at the dinner dance? asked Lester. No, said Mrs. Large. It'll be too late for little ones. What about the baby? asked Luke. Granny is coming over to take care of everyone, said Mrs. Large, so there's no need to worry. Looks like she's had another baby since the last story. Granny arrived at supper time. The children were already bathed and in their pajamas. Granny gave them some painting to do while she tidied up, and Mr. and Mrs. Large went, out, went upstairs to get ready. Luke sneaked into the bathroom while Mr. Large was shaving. Will I have to shave when I grow up? He asked, patting foam onto his trunk. Go away, said Mr. Large. I don't want you ruining my best trousers. The baby crept into the bedroom where Mrs. Large was putting on her makeup. Mrs. Large didn't notice until it was too late. Look, said the baby, pretty. Don't move, said Mrs. Large. Don't touch anything. Outside on the landing, things were even worse. Laura was clopping about in her mother's best shoes and beads, and Lester and Luke were seeing how many toys they could cram into her new tights. Downstairs at once, said Mrs. Large. Can't I have just one night in the whole year to myself? One night when I'm not covered in jam and poster paint. One night when I can put on my new dress and walk through the front door all in one piece. The children went downstairs to Granny. Mr. Large followed soon after, very handsome in his best suit. At last, Mrs. Large appeared in the doorway. How do I look? she asked. Pretty, Mommy, gasped the children. You look smashing, said Mr. Large. Just like a movie star, dear, said Granny. Hands off, said Mrs. Large to the paint-smeared children. Mr. and Mrs. Large got ready to leave. Goodbye, everyone, they said. Be good now. The baby began to cry. Just go, said Granny, picking her up. She'll stop as soon as you've left. Have a lovely time. We've escaped, said Mr. Large with a smile, closing the front door behind him. All in one piece, said Mrs. Large, and not a smear of paint between us. Actually, said Mr. Large gallantly, you'd look wonderful to me, even if you were covered in paint. Which was perfectly true, and just as well, really. The end.